Hey guys, it's Matt with My Designs here. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create mockups for t-shirts in bulk for your Shopify stores or your Etsy shops. So let's jump right in. So the first thing that you want to do if you have not done it yet is create a collection and upload your designs that you want to use to create these t-shirt mockups with. Um, as you can see inside of this collection, I've got five camping designs. Um, so the first step we want to do after we've done that, and if you're not, if you don't know how to create a collection or upload a design, we have separate videos on that. I'm not going to get too much into it on this one. So like I said, first thing we want to do once our designs are uploaded is just select them all. And we can do that by going to this box here and clicking select all. Um, if you didn't want to work with one, for instance, maybe you already had some mockups on this one, you could deselect it and then these actions would not apply to this listing. Uh, we want to use all of the listings we have here though. And then the next step is to go over to the mockups button here. We'll click that and then click create image mockup and now this window pops up here. And I'll just uh, touch base on this just a little bit. The first thing I wanna go over is your input file slot and your output file type and slot. So the input file slot is the image that it's actually using to create your mockups with. So in this case, it's named main file, which is the same file you just saw that I showed all five of the camping designs. Um, and then the output file type and slot is going to be where the mockup is saved to. So if you see here, I've got a bunch of empty file slots that I call mockup one, two, three, four, all the way to seven. So we'll just select mockup one here. And then the, the type is just going to be a JPEG or a PNG file type. Um, I recommend always exporting as a JPEG file type for your mockups, especially if you're, you're creating them for Etsy. Etsy only allows uh, 10 megabytes is a max file size for a mockup and JPEGs are much smaller file types than PNGs typically. So we'll leave that on JPEG. Uh, the next thing I wanna go over is this top search bar here. You can actually search mockups here. Um, there's a drop down here. You can um, go to public mockups, custom mockups, or shared mockups. And then there's categories for the mockups as well. Um, we're gonna stay right here in clothing. Um, next, I'm going to use a Bella 3001 as the example for this video. So I'll just search 3001 here at the top um, and then we'll click the search button. And now you'll see that our library of mockups up updated to just be our Bella 3001 mockups. Um, so let's just select one here. That looks like a great design on a lot of these mockups that we do have. You can change the shirt color by clicking here or if you click this product related colors, it will show you the actual colors that are offered by our print partners. Um, so I'm gonna just change this one maybe to a more of a maroon color. Uh, looks like that's being just a little slow right now. Um, and then we also have this option here where you can turn this off and on and it just makes it a Heather or non Heather um, mock-up. So that looks like a Heather design now and we want it to actually represent the products that your customers are going to be receiving. Um, so we'll leave this on for this particular mock-up. Um, the next thing I want to touch base on is we have a feature up here you can click. Um, it's a, the advanced features and what this allows us to do is select multiple mock-ups at a single time to create. So if I was to do it this way without the advanced features, I would just hit generate mock-ups and it would create that for all five of the camping designs that I had just selected. But I want multiple mock-ups, not just a single one. So I'm going to click that and now you'll see we just have a checkbox on the ones we want. So some of these, like this one, it's not gonna show me a preview, but I do like that mock-up, and maybe we'll, we'll leave this shirt color black on this one. Uh, we'll, we'll do a hanging mock-up as well, just to give our customers um, more variety. We'll also do a color chart here, which um, will generate a preview. It may take just a moment to generate that, um, but I actually want to change the text color to white as well, and then we'll click generate again on that. Uh, we'll come back to that as soon as it's done. Uh, maybe we want to do a male model as well. Um, a lot of people offer male and female t-shirts on the same listing or they're a unisex t-shirt, so they'll fit everyone. Um, and then we could also do a couples um, mock-up. 
and I think five or six is probably perfect for this example. Um, once we've selected all of the mockups that we want, and here's the preview of the size or the color chart, excuse me. Um, let's say that's the, the five colors we were offering on our listing. That would be great right there. Um, so we're going to just go with that. Once we have everything selected that we want, we just want to make sure everything's mapped the way we want it. So as you can see, main file is going to be used, obviously, to create all of these mockups. Um, and then it's got going to automatically save to an empty file slot if you have one. So I don't think we need to change these up too much as they're going to. It looks like they're all in an empty file slot. So when we're done with all of this, we just click generate mockup generate mockups, excuse me. And then you're going to get a confirmation as well. We'll just click generate mockups again. And now it says here, you can see processing 30 jobs in this collection. Um, 30 because there's five camping designs and we did six um, mockups. So it's essentially creating 30 total mockups and this should be done in less than 30 seconds. Um, it says the jobs completed up here, but it's going to take just a second to load. So um, once that's done, I will show you in a different view. Um, you can see it's done now. We can click this grid view here, which will just get rid of our data fields so that we can see our designs better. Um, and then we can double click on these file slots. If I do it like that, you'll see it populates for all of them. So just like that, you can see we've created 30 mockups in a matter of two minutes. And it could even be quicker as soon as you know what you're doing a little bit. Um, but we can look at these and these mockups look fantastic. They look very professional. We've got a color chart as well, a male model, and then a couple model as well. So that's how easy it is to create professional looking mockups using my designs. And you can do this, like I said, for hundreds of products or listings at a single time. It doesn't just have to be five like I showed you in this example. So I hope this video made sense. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, for, for future My Designs content.